Hello gun people. I want to do a short little video on this uh, Model 36 I picked up in a pawn shop recently. Actually it was a gun shop. And it's used. It's a Model 36. And um, it's, um, it's not a safe queen. Of course it's been around a long time. The previous owner bobbed the hammer back there. I don't really care about that too much. And you can see a lot of the balloon is kind of worn down and scratched off. I think this thing's been sitting in the guy's holster for a long time. And the wood grip is it's, it's worn down nicely. And you can see on the back side here, a little of the bluing is gone right up in here. But for what I paid, I don't care. Gives this, this gun has character. Who knows what this gun has seen. It's got the original Smith & Wesson grips too because I took the grips off and it had the same serial numbers that's inside the frame. I could have it re-blued if I wanted but I don't think so. And this has a pin barrel. And the action on this thing is, is beautiful. It's kind of hard to de demonstrate over the pull, but it's kind of a heavy pull, but it's very nice. And the single action, it's so nice and light. And Notice this has the flat latch. See it's flat. Let's swing open the chamber, the cylinder. And you really can't see it, but right in here, I don't know if it's going to come out for you guys, but this is a Model 36. It's not showing up. Sorry. It's a Model 36, no dash, with a pin barrel. It's quite old. Um, I called Smith & Wesson. He wasn't exactly sure, but it was um, somewhere in the late 50s early 60s so I think it was like 62 is when this gun was made and I picked this up in a pawn shop for a $250 plus tax down here in Southwest Florida and um, I bought this a couple months ago but now right now it's December 25th 2015 and I've seen some of these in pawn shops mint condition uh, not exact not exact model but 36 no dash but 36 is just like this mint condition for like 500 I even saw one recently that has the shroud that covers the hammer and you can just barely see it that's really a sweet one too I'd love to have that and it's 500 bucks but for $250 for a gun that's got some you know it's got some patina on it but it looks good 250 bucks you really can't beat it I mean, if for some reason it got stolen or it got lost, you know, it wouldn't be like, you know, a huge disappointment, although I'd miss it. It's a beautiful gun. All right there. Thank you.